Hello guys and welcome back to another Bloodborne DLC walkthrough video. Today we're going to be going over the St. Adeline side quest. I'm going to make this as short and simple as possible without going into too many unnecessary details and not making it unnecessarily long. So first of all, as you all know, this is the NPC we're going to have to give these brain fluids to and to ask for them. There are a total of three, so we're quickly going to go over the locations of each one. The first one is here in this secret passageway halfway up the lift. Um, as you can see here, it's just on the side here. You go down onto this central part of the room. Be careful, there's quite a powerful NPC straight before there. Depending on your level, you might have a bit of trouble with this. So anyway, once we've sorted out the business with the NPC, all we have to do is take out this lump of meat. We're going to call them lumps of meat. I'm guessing they have some sort of official name. And this is the first one, so you can either go back and give her the first one now. I do recommend this, just to make sure you have it all in check. Now you can go back and give her the first brain fluid. So once you've done this, she'll offer you um, her blood, which is a bit like Adiana's blood, pretty much same sort of thing. And anyway, now we're going to go on to the second one. To find the second brain fluid, all you have to do is go to the most top part of the map where you have to leave it to change the stairs around. You just keep on going up and you'll eventually get here. It's not hidden whatsoever. And once you're on the top here, all you have to do is drop down and then climb up the stairs. And here you can find the second lump of meat. I believe you can also do this by just simply activating the lever to change the stairs and you'll also get to the same floor. So once you've done this, you can go back and talk to the NPC. Many people have having this problem where it will not allow you to give her the second brain fluid, as in she will not enable the dialogue to be able to give her the second brain fluid. All you have to do is try going back to the Hunter's Dream and then coming back and it should allow you. If not, do what I did and just quit the game pretty much or close the application, back out of the game in any way, reload your profile and then you should be able to give it to her. Also, I should know it is very important that you give her the first two brain fluids before doing the living failure boss. As I believe if you do not give her at least two of the brain fluids before doing the living failure boss, it will not be able to activate the final part of this side quest and you may not be able to do it. I know multiple people have had this problem. So make sure before you advance on to do the living failure boss, you have at least given her two of the brain fluids. You should be fine. So there are two ways to go about this after this. After you've given her two, the third one is given to you by her herself by killing her. However, you don't want to go straight away killing her yet. The official way what you have to do is you have to go and kill the living failure boss after giving her the two brain fluids and she'll give you the balcony key. This balcony key can be used to go downstairs in the next room and you can find some useful items down there. Um, but anyway, after you have gotten the balcony key, here you can go on and kill the living failure boss. After you've killed the living failure boss, you want to come back to the room where St. Adeline is and she should have turned into a lump of meat herself and she should be hiding behind the door. Again, if this has not happened, just quickly reload the game a few times, go back to the Hunter's Dream. Whatever you need to do to get it to activate. And there you have a bit of dialogue, and after you've speaking to her when she has the lump of meat, you just have to simply kill her, and she'll give you the third and final brain fluid herself. So then you just have to give it back to her, and she'll give you this rune what allows you to turn part alien. So this is all guys, um, I've also been told that some people have been able to do this full quest without even entering the living failure boss room. However, um, it's not 100% confirmed, so I recommend doing it the way I just said. So anyway guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any confirmed um, suggestions about this video, as in something you've tried and you're 100% sure about it, please do leave it in the comments to clear it up for everybody else. And we'll see you next time.